Ja, guten Tag. Hello. I would like to welcome all the colleagues um, that are with us online, being located in South Africa. And I am only going to give you a brief overview from our perspective in order to show you how this project actually came about. What was the target of the project? Well, the target was to um, establish education programs for people with disabilities and to offer them in the Eastern Cape in South Africa and in Lower Saxony. So this means that we also want to establish an exchange of information. And in the educational study, we've seen that many people with disabilities are interested in international um, matters. And that is why this is also one of the targets. So who's involved in that project? There was a decision on uh, the federal um, chancery office. Who's in the lead? I would like to welcome Mr. Maas from the social, uh, from the Ministry of Social Affairs. And it was decided that the ministry will be in the lead, but not to the Ministry for Science. So this is the lead partner from our point of view is uh, Lebenshilfe Lower Saxony. And you've already met Uwe Hildner. He's a member of the Board of Management of Lebenshilfe Lower Saxony. And uh, I am uh, representing the Ostfalia University. And then in Eastern Cape, we have a whole bunch of partners, Nelson Mandela University, then Eastern Cape Disability Economic Empowerment Trust. Mr. Patuka is with us today. And then there's the Association for Persons with Physical Disabilities, Mazifandi, Learner Development, the GEM Project, um, then CIA Skills Institute, and then there's uh, the Disability Info South Africa, as well as Border K Chamber of Business. So those are, are our partners in South Africa. Now, how did this project arise? Actually, it was a coincidence. I handed in an application or request because I wanted to do a trip to South Africa. And it was sort of set back. And I was given the order to go to the Eastern Cape and to establish a cooperation with the Eastern Cape. So I was like, OK, I didn't lose. I mean, I have to go there, and I'll do this. And in advance to this, I uh, got in touch with with um, the state chancellor, and I heard that there was a Mrs. One, who now, uh, who then was a minister, and since 1995, uh, the federal state of Lower Saxony has a cooperation with them. And at Newton Hague, there is a, a major plan for Volkswagen, and we do have an intense cooperation when it comes to vehicle technology. Now. The university was interested in expanding this cooperation to other areas as well. And then there was a request or an inquiry by the Federal State of Germany whether we want to do a cooperation with the Walter Sisley University. And uh, so there were different kind of things. And I called the um, Chancellor again, and they told me that within the framework of the trip um, to uh, of Mrs. Oni, there was supposed to be um, a project um, dealing with the assistance of people with disabilities. And there was no one uh, already in charge of this. And I was like, hey, that's impossible. And uh, so Uwe Hildner and myself visited them and had some conversations some meetings. Here you can see some pictures of the meeting. And then there's uh, Tabiso Petuka, Mike Twa, that's uh, who you can see on the pictures. We're sitting together here talking about projects and other things uh, with Tata and uh, other institutions in the area of assistance for people with disabilities, is what you can see here on the picture. And uh, the results were two letters of intent. I'm not sure why you can only see one of them. So the one from the Nelson Mandela University. And then there was another letter of intent from the Eastern Cape Disability Economic Empowerment Trust. And as a consequence, then in May 2018, I had the chance to go to South Africa with 20 students. We visited the townships. We had an exchange there. And uh, we talked to students of Nelson Mandela University. And Uwe Hildner and myself, then in November, we 
visited the Eastern Cape again in order to present the educational study of GDW and in order to present first digital educational offer, um, offers or programs. And uh, one of them was about uh, dating. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see Rosalie, which is a friend of my daughter who um, was part of the video or was in this video. And uh, the video has been translated into English again. And you can uh, go to YouTube and uh, watch the video in different languages and Afrikaans, for instance. And well, we presented this to them. And then, as a consequence, the Nelson, uh, Nelson Mandela University decided that they also wanted to launch or initiate such the educational um, study. And we are going to hear more about this uh, later on. But uh, because of Corona, this um, had to be postponed or is a little bit uh, later than originally planned. Then in May 2019, I visited the Eastern Cape again. So that was the second trip that we did. And Andreas Lord is here today as well. He was with us there. And in the research lab, he also, or he was also a part of the research lab. He was involved there as well. And then in July and August 2019, he visited the Eastern Cape again for a practical research activity, which was about feasibility. So is uh, what we're doing, is it technically feasibility in the end? So we have one situation, and this is not just true for us, but also in South Africa, and it's something that we see everywhere. So um, internet connection, that's what you need. So if you want to do something um, in the area of education, you need to have internet, and that's what you need in order to uh, make it available to many people. What Andreas Lott has written in his report is that the color of skin does not play a role at all. So there was a video from Germany. But our actors were too old. That was important, and this was what they were disturbed by. So um, we found out about many different things in different areas. So the specialists or experts said that, hey, we would like to, or we prefer to work with videos because then people listen because they don't listen to us, but they will listen to what's said in a video. Now, then Uwe Hilton and myself, um, just right before Corona, so in March 2020, right before everything uh, went into lockdown in Eastern Cape, we were there, we've had um, meetings, and the NGOs that we talked to said that um, we are ready and willing to um, write down to depict our need for um, education and qualification, and we will um, create a video based on this. And I think there, how many videos do you produce? 80, 90 videos? 70 videos. So uh, many things were were done, were achieved, and during the time of Corona, we've had some Zoom conferences. And then in November 2021, Uwe Hildner and myself visited again for um, some final talks, final meetings. And when we wanted to fly back, there was Omicron. But well, we were lucky because um, our flight was not cancelled, and we could uh, come back, but then had to go to uh, went to quarantine. And now, what's the, the current state? These videos are available um, on the internet. There's a home page you can go to, but it has a slightly changed. So it's not just um, for material for people with disabilities, but it's about uh, digital skills for people with special needs. So we have some uh, partners that have a specific target groups. Those are dropouts So um, in the township. So young people who are looking at the labor market, first job, and so on. And well, we developed some things for this target group. That's so what was mainly done uh, together with Marcy Fundi, and uh, we uh, did the scientific support of this. And I brought along a video from Nazi Fundi that I would like to share with you. Hi guys, my name is Rando. And I'm Alistair. As the name suggests, this series will help you to get ready for your job search. So you might have just matriculated or dropped out of school or started tertiary and you're looking for ways to land your first job. Looking for a job can be very daunting and sometimes very challenging. You may not know if you're doing the right thing or if you've already started your job search, you don't know if you're doing it correctly. Es werden hier also Ratschläge gegeben, es werden Informationen vermittelt, wie man tatsächlich eine Arbeitsstelle finden kann. 
Aber hier werden, werden auch Ratschläge dazu gegeben, wie man das meiste aus der Erfahrung ziehen kann. Most of your experience, when you do land that job, 